It's a real shame about what happened to Bradley. Did you give a proper funeral before we left? I put him on a big slab and gave him three stakes. I didn't have a sniper rifle, though. <laughs> I left my broken antenna, so I guess that's good enough. Uh, yeah, that'll work then. Before we head out, let's head into Good Springs, because I think there might be a couple of companions that could assist us. Seeing as how we lost Bradley, he's not going to be joining us anymore. Why don't we just go grab one of our neglected companions? No, we've got to experiment with new ones! Ugh. Variety is the spice of life! Hello, you look like somebody that's not from the vanilla game. Doomfist here. What? I, I'm hesitant to say this one. They wouldn't even have to pay me to put you away. Then how would you afford the hospital bills? Because we're going to find some hidden treasure that the Syndicate is after, and you're gonna help us! Have you seen a man in a checkered suit? He shot me in the head, and also stole my shoebill body pillow. Daddy, you <laughs> You're more resilient than you look. You can certainly take a beating, alright. Well, I guess we could use someone with your talents. I am familiar with your work. I look forward to seeing it in person. You're going to be sorely disappointed. Welcome to the group. All right, who else is around here? Well, why don't we talk to Easy Pete? He might be able to point us in the right direction. Why is he so big? <laughs> He's been taking his steroids, have we? Got Hardcore his... <laughs> Pete? That ought to keep things settled for a while. Hope it stays that way. You want to come with us? <laughs> nah, nah. Why? Is something wrong? Bad trouble. Bad trouble? No respect. Someone younger can run after him. A group of thugs that have been causing trouble in Good Springs lately, constantly causing bar fights, smashing people's property, stealing resources, you know, that kind of stuff. Pete has tasked you to go after them and chase them away from Good Springs for good in order to gain his trust. Couldn't have made him a woman? Oh, Amazon ladies? <laughs> nope, just an Amazon man today. Oh. But hey, maybe hardcore people introduce us to... Hardcore Trudy or something, who knows? Oh, dang, I'd be all about Hardcore Trudy. <laughs> I know you would. Before we head out, why don't we stop by Doc Mitchell's house? It always seems like there's guns randomly spawning in there. Yeah, for some reason, they just keep appearing, and I don't know what it is. Doc Mitchell must have a portal to the netherworld or something. Probably. It's a Mossberg 590. Is that a good weapon or not? I personally am not a big fan of Mossberg 590. I like the Remington A70 better, but... What do you prefer about the Remington over the Mossberg? A uh, steel receiver as opposed to an aluminum receiver of the Mossberg. Is also, it, the Mossbergs feel kind of clanky. Is it significant difference or a slight difference? No, it's barely any difference. It's personal preference. So it's basically the same thing as a Remington, then? Kind of. The bolt is a little different and some of the other stuff. Do you think you use it as opposed to your riot shotgun? Hell yeah, I'll use it! <laughs> I don't want the scope. You, you don't think a shotgun needs a scope? No. Witness the awesome power of the shoulder thing that goes up. Increases max condition. The yeah, it, it's a barrel shroud. The shoulder thing that goes up. The barrel shroud is just a heat shield. So it prevents it from overheating. No, it keeps you from putting your hand on the barrel when it's real hot. Oh, so it's a barrel guard? Yeah, heat shield. I had a guy come in one day and was like, Hey, you got any of those shotguns with a cheese grater on them? <laughs> cheese grater? I'm like, what? He's like, <laughs> yeah, you got a shotgun with a cheese grater on it. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Why would you put a cheese grater in a shotgun, you idiot? And then I realized that he wanted a shotgun with a heat shield. <laughs> Was he using his rifle to carve up cheese? I don't know, probably. <laughs> Is that why he needed a new one? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, Mossberg 590. It's pretty cool. I like it. Did the Germans or the Russians invent it? No, it it's an American shotgun. Oh, so it was made by Heckler and Weston? No, it was made by Mossberg. <laughs> Where are you even getting this from? <laughs> How vain do you have to be to name your rifle after yourself? It was Mossberg and Sons. This is the name of the company. Did they invent it in the year 590? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Yes, they did then. No, they didn't invent <laughs> it in the year 590. The Mossberg 590's been around since, I don't know, the 60s? 70s maybe? Why did they call it the Mossberg 1960s? I have no idea because different companies name their guns different things. <laughs> Glocks are named after what patent number it is. That's why the Glock 17 is the 17. It has nothing to do with mag size. If anybody tells you that the Glock 17 is named that because it holds 17 rounds in the magazine, they don't know what they're talking about. No, I think we were right. The Mossberg 590, after 589 failed attempts at getting a patent. No! <laughs> You're wrong! You can't prove it! Oh, are these the guys? If they're not, then we're going to randomly murder some innocent people. Back out of here, tough guy. We're busy. Stand back, citizen! You're dealing with Good Springs under the protection of Hardcore Pete! You're bluffing. 
he, he, he's a myth. No, he's not. <laughs> Watch out. I've got you now. <laughs> and we'll just take I'm you guys out. Whoa! <laughs> Doomfist is a bit of a glass cannon. He hit hard, but he fell hard too. Oh, geez. Yeah, he went down immediately. Yeah. I'm not sure the difference is between a muzzle break and a choke, sadly. A choke is basically a very shallow funnel that you put on the inside of the barrel that's going to compress the shot and the wadding before it leaves the barrel. So it pretty much makes the shotgun shell a slug of sorts? No, it just it just keeps it more tightly clustered together. Yeah, like a slug. No, because it's still going to open up the moment it leaves the barrel. Oh, so it's just a delayed explosion. What does the other thing do then? A muzzle brake just vents the exhaust gases out the side of the barrel. I knew it! Putting holes in your weapon makes it better! I no, it doesn't- Oh my god. <laughs> Technically, you're correct, yes! <laughs> That's the best kind of correct! Technically, putting holes in the end of your barrel does mitigate recoil somewhat, <laughs> but not putting holes in it willy-nilly. You never know until you try. Oh my god, Mike. You know my name. I heard you only recently retrieved your gauntlet. I'd have gotten my feast sooner if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Oh my god. <laughs> Weren't you also beaten by a giant monkey? Have you ever been hit by a giant genetically engineered gorilla? No. I could arrange it for you. I No, thank you. <laughs> well, you handle that gauntlet well, except that you got knocked over pretty quickly. You're impressed. That's natural. Uh, can I try it on? I don't think you could handle it. I bet I could. Yeah, I mean, despite the fact that he's put no points in a melee or unarmed. You're right, I probably couldn't. Let me get your opinion on some things. Try me. Mm, what do you think about the Legion? Human strength will only get you so far. The way they don't use technology really isn't helpful. It's not going to help them win the war. What about the NCR? What is tranquility but stagnation? Hmm, he speaks very profound words. Yes. Also, short sentences. Like they're from something. No, he's a well-developed character. How dare you? <laughs> what about Mr. House? Only through conflict do we evolve. That's true, and we're causing a lot of conflict. What do you think about Vegas? This city is a powder keg that could ignite the world. It's true, all the events of this game revolve around it. What about the Hoover Dam? It's not much. And yet, so much blood has been spilled over it. A bit of a somber moment there, yes. Mm. Let's talk about your tactics. Understood. Uh, could you use ranged weapons? You must be joking. <laughs> I don't think he's going to. No, uh, okay. Stick with melee weapons then. One punch is all I need. Yeah, I want you to attack enemies the moment you see them. That simplifies things. <laughs> but don't fall down. Hang on, I want you to hold some stuff for me. And they say chivalry is dead. What? 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 <laughs> so now that we've killed those young punks, let's report back to Pete. Also, let's get Doomfist some better armor. Ah, that's better. Doesn't quite look so intimidating, but he'll probably stay alive longer. Yeah, he definitely will stay alive longer than... Being able to get one punch off. I like how this shotgun sounds. Oh, I didn't notice the unique sound. Yeah, it sounds a little different. Is that what the Mossberg sounds like? Have you heard one fired in real life? Yes, it's the standard issue shotgun of the U.S. military. Didn't or realize Army, that. anyway, sorry. It's the standard issue shotgun of the U.S. Army, though most of the people in the Army just use it for breaching. Breaching and clearing, you mean? No, just breaching doors open. So breaching and clearing. No, what are you, just breaching. After you breach a door, what are you gonna do? Go, oh, we breached it, and then walk away? You gotta breach and clear! No, you use the shotgun to blast the hinges off the door, and then you put the shotgun on your back and switch to your rifle. So you don't use it to clear buildings, you just use it to bust open doors? Pretty much, yep. Why would you need to have two weapons when one will do the trick? Have you ever tried to shoot open a door with an AR-15 or an M-16? I'm saying, why can't you use the shotgun to clear a room? Because most of the people in the army keep the pistol grip on the shotgun and they don't have any kind of stock on it. That doesn't sound like the shotgun's problem. And also, they usually just use breaching rounds, which is basically a finely packed lead and steel powder. It feels like we're just doing excessive work when one weapon will suffice. Mmm, no. Oh my god! Wow, you are just ready to go, aren't you? Evening. <laughs> Howdy. H Howdy. I took care of him. <laughs> <laughs> that was the quick glimpse in his bloodlust. I think you should hang out with us for a little bit. This'll be fun. <laughs> oh my god, I'm kind of scared. 
Oh, Lordy. Okay, Doomfist was a, a hair taller than me, which was a little intimidating, but this guy's 20 feet tall. Yeah, I think Doomfist has been replaced. Even <laughs> Doomfist is just like, oh, no. <laughs> 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 There's no way we can fail now. The syndicate should be shaking in their pants. Yeah, let's move on. I, <laughs> you know, easy, Pete. I um, I'm not being ableist or anything, but I think you might. Ah! <laughs> oh, apparently you can just phase through solid matter. Never cool. mind. I was gonna say you won't be able to fit through that sewer hole, but you can just phase through solid matter. Hey, so, hey, Zach, where's the 300 pound prospector go? Where he damn well wants. Yeah, it's much light of the joke, all right. I think Doomfist might need to, uh, duh, <laughs> might need to be a little bit bigger. You just say that because Hardcore Pete's 20 stories tall. Yeah, Hardcore Pete is literally a giant. So with the four of us, I think uh, we're going to be able to intimidate this guy. Oh, I think this is him. What? Should we be diplomatic about this or should we be aggressive? I understand that you're connected. Some very important people. Maybe. What of it? Me and my associates here would like to locate Zimmer. Have a couple words with him. I don't know anyone named Zimmer. Even if I did, why would I tell you? See, I tend to do things to people who offend me. Very bad things. Fuck you and your delicate sensibilities. <laughs> but hey, if you're feeling brave, make a move. You'll bring the whole thorn down on you. Do what you feel. Oh, Are all right, you... that, that's a fair point. I'm probably not going to do that. Um, hang on, hang on. I, I think we got off on the wrong foot here. <laughs> what? I bet the NCR would like to know of your activities. The NCR doesn't give a fuck about junkies or the syndicate. Even if they did, they got no manpower to follow through. Keep dreaming. No, he's got me on that one. Yeah, the, those are all really valid points. I'll tell you what. Um, oh, no, I seem to have dropped a thousand caps. You realize you're just financing your own funeral, right? Look, I don't know Zimmer. I never met him. But I know a guy who can tell you. His name's Chase. He's shocked up in Gamora. Chase is a heavy hitter. Muscle for the syndicate. He's got his own room. Here, I'll point it out on your map. In case you're wondering, I don't know you, and you don't know me. Don't speak to me again and never mention my name in this. Maybe we'll forget we ever met you if you grease our palms with a thousand caps. Mm. Yeah, you can keep them. I don't care. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I take all of the money. I'm like Sherlock Holmes and you're like Watson. I keep your wallet locked in my safe. Uh, does Sherlock Holmes do that to Watson? Yes, he does. <laughs> Sounds like Sherlock might be more of a dick than I knew. Um, no, Watson may or may not have a serious gambl gambling problem. Oh, and of course, Sherlock Holmes doesn't being the Marty Stew that he is. No, Sherlock Holmes has a serious cocaine problem. <laughs> <laughs> Which of those problems is worse, I wonder? <laughs> That's one of the things I love about Sherlock Holmes stories, is that he has a serious cocaine problem. You know, that doesn't come up in modern culture. They don't mention that. No, morphine and cocaine, he's just on them all the time. <laughs> if he's not working, he is shooting up on a regular basis. And Watson is not the bumbling idiot that everyone portrays him as. He's an ex-soldier who got shot in either the leg or arm, depending on which story you're reading. But he may or may not have gambling problems. <laughs> it kind of sounds like us. You're kind of like Watson. You and your gambling problems and your poor luck. I don't have gambling problems. Me and my drug addiction. That I don't have, obviously. Neither one of us are good at solving mysteries. Let's get out of here. <laughs> my mind rebels at stagnation. Give me problems. Give me work. Thank you for visiting New Vegas. It's elementary, my dear robot. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Sure, you can have our weapons. Can we keep our giant 20-foot man with the power armor? We can! Cool! <laughs> I don't think it was this busy last time we came here. They must be doing some great business. Um, uh, business has really stepped up since one of their prostitutes died. Oh, <laughs> yes, she was scaring everybody away. <laughs> she just would not stop hitting on people, and they're just like, Go! Go! Go away! But they couldn't get rid of her because she had tenure. <laughs> How does a prostitute get tenure? <laughs> I don't know. You figure that one out. <laughs> Come in. Make yourself comfortable. There's no strangers on the third floor. What does that mean? Besides, it'll be nice to have some company. The Omerdas, uh, you know, they gave us the whole floor, so it gets a little lonely up here. Okay. I didn't realize you were expecting me. You know, I wasn't sure if I'd actually get to meet you. 
I guess it's something of an honor, you know, all things considered. You know. Most of the outfit calls me Tony. Well, Mr. Chase. I know you're the, uh, courier or whatever. What's your real name, pal? My name is Terrence. Terrence Shepard. No. Ple- I'm pleased to meet you. No, no crossovers. <laughs> He's Zach and I'm Mike. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. That, uh, that name of yours isn't exactly what I was expecting. Funny how expectations don't always correspond to, you know, reality. Now I'm gonna get to the point, kid. What the hell are you doing here? Is this about Zimmer, the loot? I thought we had an arrangement. The organization killed our friend Bradley. Our scores have not been settled. Zimmer screwed himself when he started playing marionette with my life. I ain't nobody's puppet, you hear me? That's just fucking dumb. We all answer to somebody, kid. Even Zimmer answers to... Well... The answer to somebody you don't want to meet. It can only end two ways. Either you walk away or you get buried in the fucking desert again. And this time, you don't come back. You've got heart, kid, but that ain't enough. You don't realize what you're up against. You only think you do. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Spit in his face. A lot of options here. Wow. <laughs> you ever shut up? Christ, you need to get out more often. Since you won't fucking listen, well, fuck you. <laughs> Used to be a prize fighter up in Reno, heavyweight, real contender. Got into this job because I could break someone down with my hands. You're still talking! There was always work, because I just knew where to hit a man to make him cry like a little fucking girl and beg for mercy. And that's what I'm gonna do to you. Oh yeah? Just when you think it can't get any worse, that's when the real pain's gonna start. No, I won't kill you. But I'm gonna break you into tiny little fucking pieces that can't be put back together. Big talk for a egg with hair on it. You'll be eating food through a straw and bragging in freeside sucking cock for cash. That's where you're headed, shit for brains. Doomfist, punch him in the way that he described, but don't don't punch us. Do you honestly not know how to shut the fuck up? <laughs> I think you might have struck a nerve with that one. Uppity youngster. Deal with them, boys! Well, I don't have a weapon right now, but everybody else does. There we go. Tony, I'm sending more muscle your way this week. The front outside North Vegas is working out nicely. I figured we'd keep the name since St. Peter's is too good to pass up. Besides, I don't like offending higher powers. If Courier 6 shows up, be tactful and bide your time. We can take care of the Courier when we've got a better foothold in town. Right now, the priority is selling protection to Westside, which is a hot commodity since we've got the fiends all stirred up. Keep on working with the Omertas. It's just a matter of time before we absorb them. Our employer is expecting results after recent setbacks in the Mojave. No excuses or I'll cap your knees. Zimmer, love you. No excuses or I'll break your fucking kneecaps. Anyway, I'm a piece of shit mafia guy. Sounds like a charming guy. Oh, hey. hello. Uh, help. 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 I guess he did say that he had the entire floor to him and his organization. This shouldn't be a surprise. Frag out. No, not with Doomfist up close and personal. <laughs> He's fine. I don't think this companion synergizes Ooh, with your combat style very well. Well, make sure that nobody down here is going to... Oh, it's the Omeritas. They don't care. The Syndicate specifically ordered that the third floor be soundproof because they wanted to do some shady business at the Gamora, and it turned out to be their undoing. Yeah! They shouldn't have done that! I love how everybody looks at the Hardcore Pete just like, oh god. <laughs> Dyson Sphere pole dancing. What the? Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapon needs. You know what else we got, Atomic Wrangler? We got Slinkies that can move on their own. Atomic Wrangler. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah. Come on down. Touch the door at the Atomic Wrangler. I gotta go. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most realistic response. <laughs> Whatever. We'll have to come back and talk to you later. We got a pretty full party got, right yeah, now. Yeah, I got. We got stuff to do. But we'll come back later. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Got him. <laughs> wow. Dropped Not him like a sack here. of potatoes. <clears throat> Whoa. <laughs> that worries me. I thought that was coming from Hardcore Pete for a second. <laughs> nope. Polly, you need to cut up the smoke break. Fuck. Fuck me, it's you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> yeah, it's me! Yeah, he's... It's me, bitch! Smoking's bad, it'll kill ya! Smoking'll kill ya and so... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Had enough? Yeah, let's see what you can do. do yeah! <laughs> this is how I want to always come into buildings. <laughs> I got yelled at at one point for calling a fake artillery strike. Easy courier. No ambuscades down here. Have a seat if you like. We have a lot to talk about. You interrupted me! Anyway, I got, I got in trouble during a field exercise for calling a fake artillery strike on the grid coordinates that were our command post. Oh, really? You got in trouble for calling a fake artillery- HOW ABOUT THAT?! Yeah, it turns out probably wasn't the best idea. Should we listen to this guy or should I just shoot him right now? Let's see what he's got to say. Maybe he'll offer reparations for murdering our beloved friend. I'm curious as to what brought you here. I've heard so many stories, but please, forgive my fascination. I, I seldom get to meet a legend. Blood lost, testing out new weaponry, seeing the voice lines from our companions. All those things. Also, where's my money? Right, the money. It's not even ten feet from you. Enough to set you for life, perhaps. I kind of doubt it. No tricks. Look, past the bar door. There's a tidy stack of bullion. The Enclave had impressive printing abilities, I must admit. Let me guess, this is the part where you try to persuade me to walk away, huh? Oh, no. We're well past that, courier. Oh, you're gonna just try to kill me, then? I'm new to the Mojave, so I've made it a priority to familiarize myself with the history, politics, the players. And somehow, your name keeps coming up. I've been wanting to meet you for some time, really. It's another reason I didn't gas you in that vault. It would have been unseemly. Also, because there wasn't any gas. I knew that cowing you would be a challenge. Odds were that you would show up here. I was looking forward to this. A worthy opponent. An opportunity to make my own name while letting you pass. With dignity. Mm -hmm. Who would cross the man who killed Courier 6? has a ring to it, like one of those pre-war western films. To you, we might be worthy opponents, but to us, you're just Tuesday! Doesn't really work. Oh, sorry. Like that. When you killed Bradley, it was the most difficult thing you ever did. But to me, it was only Tuesday! I think that's backwards still. You certainly went to a lot of trouble to get me down here. Perhaps. But I think it was worth it. You see, my employer has rewarded my service to the organization. I've done well. It's interesting what people do with wealth. Some invest. Others blow it on booze. Pussy. Passing pleasure. Me... I buy implants. Like breast <laughs> augmentation surgery? Not comfortable going in, but so good once they're settled. Oh, you got a bigger butt! One of my implants regulates cardiovascular performance, and it's been tweaked for a specific purpose. He went into the doctor and he was like, I want Kim Kardashian's ass! <laughs> when I have it activated, it can operate as sort of a fail-deadly switch, connected to explosives and whatnot. Oh, you're gonna blow up our money. Incidentally... I have the loot surrounded by high explosives. If I die, my implant will trigger enough C4 to bury every lick of gold in there. Now, maybe you don't care about the gold, and that's fine. But if you do, then listen closely. All right. I will turn off my implant signal if you agree to fight me on my terms with a katana. What? <laughs> if you win, then you get the gold. Otherwise, with a nothing. It's it's pronounced katana, not <laughs> katana. Why do you keep saying my employer? Just say his freaking name, you mafia douchebag. I call him my employer because to say his name is forbidden. Oh, for God's sake! An offense punishable by death. But you might as well say his name because we're gonna punish you. I am personally acquainted with him. He trained me in the exquisite art of the samurai sword. <laughs> oh my God! I am his greatest pupil. You filthy weeb. <laughs> you are a filthy piece of crap weeb. I bet you run with your arms behind your back as well. Were you, were you raised by demons and now you use the famous sword of Clan Shinobi? You're going to show us your high ten gojutsu? This is my 1,000-fold katana. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. Teleports behind you. Well, let's talk this out. Perhaps you and I can reach an agreement. Maybe we could, but action feels so much better than words right now. Do you know how many self-proclaimed badasses we have killed? I mean, Mike and I, 
Doomfist and uh, Hard Hard Pete. Yeah, we have no idea what their kill count is, but add that to what we've done, and it's a really high number. It is. We've basically committed genocide. <laughs> Welcome to day three of the Nuremberg War Trials. Mike, how do you think it's going to pan out today? Hopefully we get off scot-free, otherwise we're screwed. <laughs> I'm not afraid to die, Courier. I respect God, but I don't count on his help. I know my end, and I'm at peace with it. The real question is whether or not you realize where you're headed. It doesn't matter how many bad asses you kill, how tough you think you are. One day, you'll make a mistake be negligent, or just get old. I like reading old books. Pre-war stuff. Uh, Ever heard of Bill Hickok? <laughs> Killed all sorts of people in his day. Yeah, Wild Bill Hickok. You know how he died? It wasn't some grand duel in the street, an epic showdown with a worthy opponent. Some dreg, a bottom-feeding asshole, just walked into a saloon and popped Hickok in the back of the head. Payback for killing his brother. If you're lucky, Courier... You'll die here, with a sword in your hand, killed by a proper foe. <laughs> you might get old, die in your bed. But more than likely, some punk will wait till you're drunk, high, or just distracted, and then they'll strike. A warrior's death is the best you can hope for. And I'm offering it. What you're saying could never possibly be true, Zimmer. We never slip up. And if we ever do slip up, no one ever has to know about it. There's no way anything could ever go wrong for us. We're the real Marty Stews. <laughs> I'll fight you on your terms. I'll store your weapons in a nearby locker. I've got the key on my person. In the off chance, you best me. You'll be using this katana. Katana. Let's go somewhere with a little more room. Defend yourself. Yeah, let's see this one-on-one -on -one battle through to the end, right? Yes, this battle went so well for you! You have defeated Zimmer in single combat, thereby gaining access to Seller's inheritance. Yeah, single quotation marks. Single combat. The full effects of Zimmer's deaths are uncertain, but you have stimmied the, sy the syndicate's presence in the Mojave. For now. He didn't really think that one through. I don't know how the fuck he missed Hard Pete standing there, <laughs> considering that he's so big, he keeps banging his head on all the nails that are sticking out of the ceiling. He's seriously, he's going to need stitches. we got to get him into a hospital. <laughs> I shudder to think of what Judy Farkas is going to say. She will need a stepladder to reach the top of his head. <laughs> he named his katana Precious, I think. <laughs> what a dork. I should have fought him with a shovel. <laughs> I wish he hadn't taken my shovel. I would have fought him with it. <laughs> Would have been like a regular Miyamoto Musashi reel. Yeah, and then you could have dropped a couple of one-liners like, I'm gonna dig you a grave. Miyamoto Musashi was a famous... Holy hell, guy. look at all these gold bars in here. Yeah, there were like nine gold bars. Look at this guy's wall poster. What a dork. <laughs> what an absolute weeb. I bet he watches anime with the subtitles on. <laughs> actually, this poster's kind of cool. I kind of want this one. It's because it's got a bird on it. Of That's the course. only reason. <laughs> No, Miyamoto Musashi was a famous Japanese swordsman. Who fought everyone with a shovel, yes, I remember. No, he showed up for a duel and he had forgotten to bring his sword, so he used his little tiny sword to um, carve a wooden training sword out of the boat oar that he was riding on. <laughs> so he beat him to death with a wooden sword. <laughs> he beat him to death with a chunk of wood. Well, if he thought that he could best me with his weapon, looks like this ship has sailed us. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Buns! <laughs> we never figured out who Zimmer was employed by. I'm sure it'll come back to bite us in the ass someday. Shove it in your craw! <laughs> Think you can kill our companions and steal our gold? Not right, Hard Pete. You want to come with us on a few more adventures? Nope. Too dangerous. Damn it! <laughs> I can't see it. How did that cripple Doomfist's left arm? He was all the way over here. He's very susceptible to grenades and projectiles. Doomfist is a one! Doomfist is a one! Attack Doomfist! Attack Doomfist! <laughs> well, he's gonna respond in eight seconds unless we get on the objective. <laughs> go, go! Get on the point! Get on the point! I've cleared it!
We came back in time just to talk to this guy again. We've killed worse than you, Zimmer. You think you're tougher than the judge? You remember the judge? Didn't he like to touch little boys? Of course you remember that part about him. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I heard that story. The judge. So you killed that towering pervert. Good for you. The Honorable Judge Richter, who spent his days frolicking with slave boys, playing <laughs> guess what's under <laughs> Uncle Touchy's top hat. Wow! Hardly impressive. And you know how you were talking about Miyamoto Musashi? Yeah. If you have a hundred points in melee weapons, you can say this oh line. Oh my god! This ain't feudal Japan, and you ain't Musashi. I'm gonna cut your goddamn head off. You have exceeded my expectations. What a crazy coincidence, huh? That is so weird that he just... Well, I mean, I guess he is the legendary swordsman. Do you have a greater respect for this guy now? No, not really. Oh yeah? So you can best him in one-on-one -on -one combat? Let's go somewhere. I will defeat you in single combat! Can you do it? Can you best him with a katana? Wow, he hits hard. Is he also armed with a thousand stim packs to compensate for his errors? I'm dead. <laughs> it looks like you can't best him in one-on-one -on -one combat. I'll do it! <laughs> Don't bring a sword to a gunfight, jackass! Who's the weeb now? 